Send me piece yourself back together now What's your vision? Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yavage Pino. Welcome to a to, uh, tutorial video actually. Uh, this is going to be how you can uh, make an intro using one of Velocify's templates without Sony Vegas or After Effects. Now, in all of his videos to sort of uh, get you guys to get it, he says that you need uh, Sony Vegas or After Effects for them. And I mean, don't quote me on any of this, but just about all of them say Sony Vegas or After Effects. Actually, I think all of them do say that, but you actually, for the 2D ch templates, you do not need that. This is for the 2D templates. Um, I'm going to be using one that's going to be my new intro from now on as an example. Uh, so if you, uh, I'm going to be using my screen flow editor to edit it in, but uh, you can use iMovie, Windows, Movie Maker to sort of do the exact same thing, however that works for you. Um, you can sort of just follow along. Everything that I do in screen flow, you will be able to do on your editor. So it's just different controls on different ones. This, so this is for Movie Maker, it's for iMovie. For ScreenFlow, if you have ScreenFlow, then this should be very easy for you, but still very easy no matter what, and you'll see. So you want to start by going to, uh, you want to go to Velocify.com, that's his website. You want to go to Show Me. Now here will be the list of all the templates. This is the one that I want, template number 69, and here it is. You might have seen this before, you might not have. Just let the web the web page load up for a second. Here. All right, so that's it. And as you see here, it says "Two D Intro Number Sixty Nine Sony Vegas Template." Um, it says see, it says download Sony Vegas version, download After Effects version. These are just because they come with certain ones that you can use. But you can also use this other, it comes with two files, uh, you'll see that in a second. It comes with a clip uh, file, and then it comes with the actual Sony Vegas or After Effects file that you'd put in there. So now, uh, I'm just going to do the Sony Vegas one just because I know that one works. I haven't tried the After Effects before, but just do the Sony Vegas because I know that one works. So you want to click on that. It's going to uh, take you to this page where it's going to tell you to uh, subscribe and follow, download. You don't have to do that. If uh, it's making it look like you have to follow him and stuff and subscribe to him, you don't you don't have to do that. All you gotta do is scroll down. Let's see here, link will appear in 20 seconds. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait this 20 seconds and yeah, I guess I'll be back when that is done. All right, so we got two seconds left and here's the link, the download link. You just wanna click on this. This is not a virus. Trust me, I've done this multiple times. I'm doing it right in front of you guys. So just to prove it, it's gonna take you to a media fire page. You just click download, 2.06 megabytes, it's not a lot, so don't be worried about that clogging up your computer. So, it's going to download pretty quickly because I've already downloaded it before, so, um, yeah, I already downloaded it once to test it out. You can close out of this. Mac Keeper, by the way, that's a complete virus, do not go anywhere near that. Um, and then here, see, we've got it. It should be called SV Intro 69 by Velocify. Um, now we just exit out of this, exit out of this, exit out of this. Then we can uh, go back out of Safari. And here you've got uh, your, um, here you got your file. Now if you open up this file, you see these two things. Um, the README, which you don't really need to worry about, and this. The 2D Intro 69, you want to go in this. So you got clipmusic.wmv and open this.veg. This is the Sony Vegas file. Don't worry about this if you're not going to use that. Um, this is the file that you want, so you're going to drag this on your desktop. Now, and you can just get rid of this folder entirely. So, oops, didn't mean to do that. And let me just do this now. All right. So now, there's there's an app that you want because uh, WMV you cannot open this with um, any of your editors, editing softwares, or um, your editing softwares, or <coughs> excuse me. Um, or QuickTime Player, so see. I'm not sure on Windows how it works. You might be able to. You guys will probably know if you're a Windows user. If you're a Mac user, then you're gonna want to do this. You're gonna want to go into the App Store, download this app that I have for you guys. It's a video converter, which is basically going to convert 
the video to an MOV file, so you can not, so you can use it with um like Movie Maker and iMovie and stuff. I mean not Movie Maker, uh, iMovie and ScreenFlow and all those editing softwares. So you want to look up uh, video converter in the app store. This is a free app, by the way. Um, see, I have it installed already. It's co it's totally free because it's the light version. Don't buy the full version. There's literally no difference at all. Just stay with the light version. So you want to download this. Here, let's go into the app information. It's very easy to use. This is it. Totally free, as you can see. Uh, there are the ratings. It's rated four and a half stars, which is very good. Um, so let's get out of there. What you want to do once you have it downloaded, you want to open up your launch pad where it should download to and open it up here. So, just wait for it to load. And this is all you do. It's so easy. You just want to take it, drag it into here. You want to go under the drop down thing. You want to select MOV HD video. And look, it's going to convert this to you. And then once it's done, it'll appear in the designated folder that you have it set to. I should have it set to that one. You can exit out of this. You can delete this. And then you've got this. Now, if you open this up, you can actually watch this now. So this is your intro here, the blank intro. I'm going to stop talking so you guys can uh, listen and watch this. So many pieces up back together now. What's your vision? All right, so that's it. That's your intro. Um, now what we want to do is to edit it. You want to uh, go, I'm going to click screen flow here. And then, oops, not that. I'm going to do file, new empty document, 1280 by 720p. This is what you want to set it to. Create. So just do whatever you want to do to open up um, a document for editing this. Now what you want to you do, um, I'm going to go to, I'm going to import the video. So however you normally import your videos, just do that. So it's one of the desktop. Here it is. So now it's imported. You can drag it onto your timeline. So here it is. Let's zoom in so I can uh, work with it closer. There we go. All right, so here it is again. Oh, that's really loud here. Let me, let me turn down my, my volume really quick. All right, here. Together now. What's your vision? You're gonna see that it might be a little out of the frame. So all you gotta do for that is just minimize it down like this until it fits, like like that. There we go. So now it's your full size, perfect thingy majigger. So now what you want to do is you want to play through the video and you need to stop right where it goes. I'm going to find it and I'll give you guys the exact time frame. So many pieces up back together now. What's your vision? Alright, this is like... Um... Alright, this is where you want your name to appear. So like... See how close we can get on this. You want 9.2 seconds. Like if you can get right on 9.2 seconds, you're perfect. So yes, yeah, so we want that. And we're gonna have our text. So get a nice text box going, however you do that. So you wanna get that. I'm gonna get rid of the backdrop and make it the color of it. Um, here, let's do an outline of black. Oops, sorry, it looks like my thing's lagging a little bit. I apologize for that. Yeah, fill. Let's do a black fill, actually. And I don't know why this isn't updating. I'm sorry about that. Oh, here we go. I gotta highlight it. That's right. There we go. That's what we got our black fill. So I'm gonna put this in here. Oops. I change the font. Let's see what font should we use. Let's see, we want one that's like not that. Well, you could really use any font that you want. Now it's pretty easy just to edit from here on. So just find the font that you want. Um, sure, let's go with this one. So we're gonna do this. 
the average peanut. Then we're going to move this so that it's centered right there. All right, looks pretty good. So now. Alright, so now you want it to uh, fade out right about here, so I cut this here and do at ending transition, like right here. So it's going to be like, let's see, so our ending transition, I'm going to do a, uh, a dip to white. How does that look? Uh, that that's terrible. So here, um, oops, let me do that. Crap! I think I just got rid of the transition. Okay, um, ending transition. Let's do bar swipe. So now, if we go out a little more. Uh, no. Let's do this like right here. I don't like this transition. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is taking me so long to decide. It's just you know. Ooh, how does this look? No. Um. Swipe. Um, yeah, I like this one. Okay, so we're gonna just do this a little bit like that, just so we have a little more time to see the name. Alright, and then we're gonna do a starting transition of swipe also. So it's gonna be like right this long. I feel like that's not displayed long enough though, so let's just do this. Perfect. Alright. So that's it guys. Um let me just let's do watch a pr a preview of it, see how it turned out. So enter preview. Alright, here we go. So I'm gonna start from the beginning and uh yeah, I'll just be quiet so you guys can watch it. Alright guys, um I'm seeing this like this white strip along the bottom here. I'm not sure what that is, but that was probably just an error with the preview. So yeah, I hope you I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial thing here. Now last thing you want to do is you want to go to file, export and you want to export it to your desktop, that's what I'm going to do. Scale to custom size, 720, 1280 by 720. Um, and yeah, so this is going to export. Uh, I'm going to save it as new, oops, new intro to desktop. Actually, I'm going to do it to YouTube stuff, save. So now it's going to export very quickly so let's finish it up come on and boom that's it and once you've done that you can just exit out of here because that means it's already done you can get rid of this if I open up my YouTube stuff folder here it is you new intro mp4 let's just watch it one more time to make sure everything exported correctly I mean I guess it would be too late now anyway I can always just go back and do it though so let's just Perfect. All right. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Remember, you do not need Sony Vegas to do this. You can do it with whatever editor you want. It's very simple. Um, so, yeah. Peace out, guys. Back together now What's your vision?